Hey guys, I wanted to do a video talking about, in my opinion, what is one of the most under-focused on aspects of jiu-jitsu, which is grip fighting off your back. Often to set up your position, you're gonna be in a bad position where you're like on your back defending, and you need to know how to stop your opponent's pass, but set up your position at the same time, okay? So go up. Grip fighting is a huge aspect of jiu-jitsu because to set up literally any attack, you have to establish a guard or a control first, right? So typically when people think of grip fighting, they, they think of when you're setting up, which this is a huge aspect. But often in jiu-jitsu, you're gonna end up on your back and you're gonna have to be able to defend when you're on your back, okay? So I always prefer to grip fight when I'm setting up, right? But the thing is, like, if I'm on my back and my opponent is standing really close to me, I can't just sit up from here, right? He's too close. If I try to sit up, I'm opening up too much and he can start trying to pass, okay? In and this position is going to happen all the time, even if you grip fight great when you're setting up. Sometimes, like say I have a triangle choke or something, and I almost have it, and the guy just slides out somehow, boom. And now I'm here, and he's kind of hovering over me. So knowing how to defend from this position and then properly set up your grips is absolutely essential. So the initial grip I'm going to establish first is going to be dependent on what it gives me. A lot of people are stuck chasing a particular guard, like I want spider guard, or I want the Oliva. I can only take what he gives me, okay? So the main thing is defend and then get access to whatever first grip I have, okay? When I'm on my back, usually the first grip you're going to get is either going to be like an ankle grip or a pant grip or a sleeve grip. The reason for that is just what's available, okay? Like a high collar grip is often hard when he's moving and standing and it's not as useful. That's more natural if I'm sitting up, okay? Same thing with a single leg. So here I'm defending this will come naturally, sleeve will come naturally, okay? Um, if I'm here, uh, one of the first things he'll usually do is he's looking for the legs. So one big mistake a lot of people make is they go for the sleeves first and they keep their legs low, okay? I always want to have my legs moving because it makes a more difficult target for him to grab, okay? The other thing is when I always want to try to, as I'm moving my legs, I want to make sure I'm alternating one high, one low, because if one, both are high, he can stack me sometimes. If both are low, he can push them down and go for toriandos or knee cuts. Okay, so when I'm when I'm alternating like this, even if he was to get a grip, if he starts trying to stack here, this prevents me from getting stacked because it's low. And if he starts trying to push down to do like a Toriando or knee cut here, this leg's already over defending. So I'm always kind of alternating my legs and changing the direction. I'm not just circling, right? I'm like constantly changing the angles, right? So it's very difficult. As he's trying to grab, I'm gonna always have my wrist and my hands kind of deflecting his hand. A lot of people make the mistake where they just try to go for the sleeve, but if we go slow motion, as he's trying to grab my ankle, if I go for the sleeve, as he tries to grab my ankle, if I go for the sleeve, then he's gonna be making this grip as I'm getting the sleeve, right? And now he can actually start doing stuff. So instead, as he's going, going slow motion, I do stuff like this. It's like kung fu sticky hand stuff where I'm kind of like deflecting and now I can use my wrist to feel where he's at and that makes it easier to get to a sleeve. If I'm trying to go straight to a sleeve, it's very hard to be accurate, right? But you can just kind of feel it, put your hand forward. I can just kind of feel with my hand where the sleeve is at and I get a grip. Once I get a grip, I wanna either switch to a foot on the hip or a lasso. That'll depend on where he's at. If his elbow and knee is kind of tight and I get a grip, I'll usually lasso. And from here, I just did a video on this. I can go collar sleeve, double sleeve and build from here. Um, if this is kind of open, I get the sleeve, I can just put the foot on the hip. I can go to collar sleeve, foot on hip and attack from here. I could go to double sleeve. If you haven't seen that, I have videos on this on my website. I'll put the link in the description. I also have multiple YouTube videos on it. Um, so again, lasso, foot on hip, I can build from here, right? Uh, if he does get the pant grip, for whatever reason, when you get the sleeve, you need to break fast. Okay, and the grip break is mostly in the arm. So I quick break and then I lasso or I go foot on hip. Do not put one spider hook in because they can throw you. Okay, so I'm here, I'm moving, he's trying to make a grip. I'm deflecting, I get this grip. If I get the grip on the far side, usually it's gonna be foot on hip. If I try to lasso here, he's probably gonna loop out. But if I get the grip on the near side, usually it's the lasso, but I can do the foot on the hip too. The next situation is he's kind of close, but he's being very difficult with the hands. Okay, so I get close, so I can't quite get a grip. So here, when you can't get this, he can't do anything if he doesn't grab. I'm like this, I'm just gonna grab the ankle. Okay, when I grab the ankle, I can now start pulling into De La Hiva, and now from here I can start building from here, I can start knocking him back, going for Baron Bolos and stuff and start building attacks from here. Um, you know, I could, I could catch the ankle and then I could start kicking out and going to sit up guard. I could get the sleeve here and start bull, uh, bringing him forward, doing sit up guard stuff and you can build from there, okay? So again, we're stuck on our back, right? I have to deal with this, boom, I got the ankle and build. The alternative here is sometimes I could grab the pant and I actually shift out on this side and now I can play with the foot on the hip or this key master. I can use this to go underneath. I'll probably do a whole separate video on that as well. Uh, but again, so I'm here, I can't get the sleeves, this is close, I'll grab it. If, it, if the other one's close, 
I'll grab that one, right? And if I don't like to play on this side, I'll stay here until I get something like a sleeve, like he tries to grab here, break, and then now I can let go and transition out to the grip I prefer. So that's the thing is like, the more guards you know, the easier the grip fight's gonna be. You don't have to be the best at all of them, but even if there's one that you don't like as much, it's important that you can actually get the grip off, or you can build off of what grip he's giving you rather than chasing what you want. If I'm here and I'm just desperate about getting this sleeve, because that's what I'm used to, and this is forward, right? Then I'm, I'm getting stuck and then I'm behind. So it's better I learn to get this. Even if I don't play it well, I stay here until he does something like this. I get this, now I can break and switch to the side I would prefer, okay? So the other situation, the last situation is gonna be, I'm here on my back, I'm defending, he's gonna be kind of standing close at first and he's just being very passive with everything. I go for this, he steps away. So now he just starts standing really far away. So all grips are hard. But if he's backed off, now I actually have space to sit up. So here I'm gonna come up on my left elbow, I crunch, I'm just gonna do a technical stand up. I put my left foot on the floor, I keep my shin here, my hands ready to frame, and I'm gonna scoot back really fast. And in fact, I even do an extra like that at the end just to get extra distance because he's usually going to try to close the gap really quick okay so if what that looks like is if i sit up and i just wait here he's going to come in and start trying to pass right so when i do this and i'm here right i go here boom boom now i can actually grip fight from sitting up now i have a sleeve this could go collar sleeve right i go here if you watch the collar guard video i can start collar drag ankle pick start setting up so stuff from here okay so the big thing with grip fighting is you need to be good both off your back and sitting up and you need to have multiple guards you know you may not be a master of all of them yet but the more you know the easier the grip fight is going to be and the better you get at the grip fight the easier it is to control offense when people think of grip fighting, they imagine we're here engaging. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, your face is fucking uh.